Welcome back. Today we have an update. I've done a lot of work in progress videos because this shoemaker was very kind and sent me pictures. Uh, so I've uh, posted a bunch of those. You'll see them in the shorts. Um, and uh, this is my first unboxing. Uh, this isn't a shoe box. This is actually kind of a, um, um, uh, just a shipping box, uh, which is cool. So I'm uh, <laughs> a little taken aback because I wasn't filming as I opened this. I usually um, pull the shoe box out. So uh, let's just take a quick look at what we're seeing. This was uh, covered in, um, in bubble wrap. I pull that out. We see a very nice handmade shoehorn. Now this is from the last shoemaker um, and it's a partnership between two guys, but the, the shoemaker himself is in Thailand. So this is my first pair of shoes from Thailand. And this is a really cool shoehorn on the short side, which will be interesting. Um, and this is also my first leather shoe bags, uh, which, is, uh, which is very cool. Now, uh, you'll notice that the shape of these shoes is very different. Um, this is what they call minimalist. So look at that, that's just the suede on the inside. It's cool. We'll take that here. Now, minimalist shoes are very, very different. They are designed so that your foot can be flat, like you're walking on the ground. So they don't offer the same kind of support that others do. And this is a bit of an experiment for me to see how I like it. Never done it before. Um, but even if I look at it as next to perhaps one of my most casual pair of shoes, like my boat shoes, you can see the difference in shape is kind of drastic. So interested to see how, uh, how, how these work. But um, they have two different kinds of shoes at this uh, shoemaker. They have the minimalist and they have the others. Now, this is truly uh, different. This includes that it's got no arch on the inside. So it's really supposed to be something, you know, that is good orthopedic. Now take a look at that. Isn't that cool? It's like a mustache on a toe plate. He said he was getting some customers when it's delivered. He did not share pictures of this, but that is, that's just cool. And I have no idea if this is gonna s s like, like make tacking sounds as I walk. I mean, that's three dimensional. That is very, uh, it was very interesting. So as I said, a bit of an experiment. I did blue navy shoe with green apron, um, which he dyed. He dyed the whole shoe, so. Um, but it's just a very, very cool thing. 100% made by hand. Um, although the sole stitching here uh, could have been done by machine. And obviously the upper stitching is done by machine. Now this part here looks like it was done by hand. And here. So, and then these trees were actually sawed by hand because uh, he sent me pictures of that. And so you can see, um, you know, with the little wedge in there, that's certainly different. And then as we pull the main part of the tree out, <clears throat> sorry, I'll try to get that on camera, but it's stiff. It's always stiff with three piece trees. That's always a, uh, it's always a challenge to get them out. So here I'm pulling. There we go. Well, looks like there's a bit of a stitch there I could probably burn off if I want to. Um, but here we are. So look on the inside. Again, it's flat. It does have a little bit of arch, even though the, the memo on it said that it wouldn't have an arch. So again, a bit of an experiment. I wanna try this out. Um, don't wanna, you know, uh, poison my view of it based on preconceptions, right? We all have them. Try really hard not to uh, let them influence now. What's interesting is that the lining of these feels a lot like the shoe bags. Um, very soft, but different. And the leather itself on the upper leather is also, it's a little different. I can't, I can't explain why. I think I'm just gonna have to wear them for a while to be able to express it. Now he did a nice job polishing them. You can see, you got, you can see the different lights in the room on it, which is cool. And again, you have that 
ultra interesting toe plate. So we'll take this one here. We'll do the same thing. I don't think I'm gonna fight with the um, shoe trees on this one well, on video. But I mean, I just love the way he did the sole. Um, this has got uh, just an interesting patina to it. And uh, you know, sole patinas wear off, but I find it fascinating when a shoemaker takes the time to do it. And uh, you don't wanna wear it because you don't wanna ruin the patina, but at the same time, uh, you know, you don't, you don't invest in shoes like this not to wear them either. So, um, and so we see here, it is a 270 weld, but he did spend a lot of time filing down the waist. And for such a wide shoe, this is a very narrow-ish waist, obviously flat sole. Um, but just really, really fascinatingly done. Um, this is all really blue too. Um, and here it looks black. So you see how he did that? He's got blue here and black up here. You know, just a, a mark of an incredibly talented artist, um, you know, when they pull stuff together like this. And here we have just interesting uh, green in the leather, um, you know, natural, not, not anything bad, again. Um, fascinating, huh? So anywho, um, this is my first uh, pair of shoes from, um, from the last shoemaker. And I, again, I went for the minimalist style to give that a try. And uh, it certainly is different. So, um, and, and they are a little bit longer as well. So um, we'll have to uh, give them a try and see how they fit. And uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. And this is my first pair from The Last Shoemaker. Thank you for watching.